I don't know about you guys, but whenever I hear Monaco chains, the first thing that pops into my head is the Cuban link, which is a very big presence with not a lot of money and not a lot of weight. It is a semi-hollow or semi-solid piece, whatever they call it. And when you hear Monaco, that's what pops into your head, that Miami Cuban link. But Monaco is a brand. It's not necessarily a specific link. So today's video is sponsored by Bayam Jewelry and I reached out to them because I was like, I see these advertisements by Monaco with these different types of links. And I was wondering if there's another link that has a heavy look presence without the heavy tag or heavy weight that's comparable to a solid piece. So we're gonna be comparing the heavy link, box link, Hermes link, solid versus the Monaco version. Let's roll my music so we can take a look at Monaco's box slash heavy slash Hermes link. kind of a big deal. Listen, one of my beautiful peoples, you know who it is. It's your boy, C to the U to the B to the A. So this should be a fun comparison because I haven't seen these links until now. Bayam Jewelry sent over a wide variety of Solid and Monaco to do side-by-side -side comparison. I truly was more interested in the Monaco portion than the Solid. We've all seen a variety of the Hermes link in their Solid format, and I'll show you some of the choices that they have at Bayam Jewelry that they sent over, ranging from yellow to white gold to chains and bracelets. So for example, we have this clean white gold 14 carat Hermes, AKA box link, that is really, really clean looking low key. And this is the part that kind of threw me off. I thought it was an infinity style link with no box lock, but they actually sized it with the proper lobster clasp to kind of give it that infinity look. Usually you can differentiate the box lock or the lobster clasp from the rest of the link. But when it comes to this box link, like it really flows in very nicely, to be honest with you. So I thought that was nice refreshing. I thought all these joints, they all have that harmonious lobster class to them. So I was like, damn, are these joints infinity? But no, they're all stamped 14K. And this one in particular is five millimeter. I'll give you some up close shots as well, just so you can see the detail and the look of the Hermes link, as well as the lobster class. So you can see how it really flows together nicely. Like you would have thought that it was some sort of infinity link when you're looking at it, but it has good light refraction rate because of the mal facets that are around the link, but it's a beautiful heavy link. It's a heavy duty link. It's definitely beefy. This five millimeter is substantial in weight and you can hear how solid this piece is. And it also has a smaller version of that in four millimeter and four millimeter usually for a bracelet is quite small and this is no exception. However, in this type of link, it has a nice wrist presence. It isn't too crazy, but it is a lot bigger than most four millimeters, unless you're going the flat route, which obviously would look a little bit wider, but this has some stubs since you can stack them or put them together with a watch piece and then have that really nice look or just pair it with a five millimeter and have that bracelet and chain combination. But the funny thing is how one millimeter or a little bit over one millimeter makes a drastic difference in these box links. For example, this one is slightly over five millimeter, the one I just showed you in 14K white gold. And look at the slightly over six millimeter 14K yellow gold. I mean, that one millimeter in these links makes a nice size difference. That, that chunk factor is definitely a lot bigger here. It feels like DMX-ish type chain that he would wear. And again, in keeping that same energy, they choose a good size lobster class to keep the same type of synergy going throughout the link, giving it that infinity style look. Now also a heavy piece. You can hear the substantial weight in this joint. It's definitely not a lightweight piece. Again, very nice shiny factor as you can tell here. But what I'm really interested in is the monocles that we have here. Now these monocles are more on the flashy side. And I wanna start with the biggest one because it has a substantial look. Now this one comes with a very interesting lock as well. It's a barrel style lock with CZ stones around it. Monaco does not at this point do any moissanite or I don't believe they do diamonds to my knowledge. Maybe it's some sort of custom piece, but the majority of them come with CZ stones, which I'm not a fan of. But right now what we're going to be taking a look at, I believe this is a 22 inch, 10 millimeter Monaco box link. And look at the size of this joint. Same visual appearance with obviously the traditional Monaco Monarch, which is the little holes in between 
so that you know it's a semi-hollow or semi-solid or however they refer to it, AKA the Monaco link. Just like the Cuban in between the links or on the side of the links, those holes in there, this is the same. Now this is a big presence with this cool barrel lock. I don't like the CZ portion. I do like the lock and the lock release mechanism. So it's a push release. You push here, two down, and you pull out and it kind of looks like this bullet. It looks like a bullet also has the holes in it in that lock and I'll show you some up close shots just so you can see the detail of this particular lock. I think it's a cool looking lock to be honest with you and I've done some torture tests on a Monaco before as far as pulling is concerned and these locks surprisingly at least on that one was very decent. It is a two point locking mechanism so it's bang. You hear the lock and it's a substantial lock. It's no slouch on these locks, trust me. When it's the actual Monaco brand, they actually take pride in making a decent lock. So I gotta give them props for that. And again, it's a lot of look for a fraction of the price. You do see the holes, that perforation, but side by side comparing it to a solid piece, the visual isn't that far off. Granted, the millimeters are vastly different and this one weighs significantly more than this one as this 10 millimeter is skating around a 46 gram as opposed to this one being almost 97 grams. So it's drastically different in look and weight but this one is way cheaper hovering in that thousand-ish space and this one is upwards of a few thousand dollars. So you got a lot more look for significantly less money. Now these Monaco box links come in a variety of sizes including down to like a five millimeter which adds a little bit of a different flair because the barrel lock on here has accent stones at the end of the lock as well as the big boy does not. So if you can see those little accent stones right on like the jump ring and they don't have it up here. And these little joints, depending on the length, obviously, and the weight factor, it starts at like 700 bucks, 700 and change, which isn't bad, and that's before any promo codes and coupons, which they often offer something, and especially in this video where the coupon code will be listed below as they're offering you guys 15% off. Thank you guys to Buy I'm Jewelry for blessing my audience with any kind of promo. So if I was gonna go the Monaco route, I would definitely not go on the biggest size, because it's just not a daily wear practical for me. I would stick around Around this one which is the eight millimeter size I think this is a nice big boy look with no weight to it whatsoever how much does this joint weigh 36 grams doesn't weigh anything but it has a lot of neck presence like the difference is not that drastic other than the weight the price they're both in 14k but obviously one is semi-solid hollow aka monocle and the other one is full solid but for visual appearance, maybe the solid one has a little bit more of an angled file or facet to it that the Monaco doesn't necessarily achieve fully, but they still have the same shine factor. It's just that these are significantly lighter and the Monaco's, at least in the Latin music scene, are beyond popular. It's insane. If you go down 47th Street, you start seeing Monaco's almost on every window, especially in the Cuban space is huge. You see these jumbo 50, 60, ridiculous size Monaco's that weigh like 400 grams, 300 grams and huge, 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 huge pieces that generally would weigh like fucking three and a half kilos. Cause everybody's like, oh, it's still gold. There's still a value there. And I get a lot of presents and look for half the price. If I'm just gonna throw it in a box or just wear it on performances or just wear it for the gram, it just might make sense to people, especially with the gold prices going up the way that they have been. But let's check out some neck profile shots and see if they look as good on person as they do side by side comparison. First, we're gonna start with the 10 millimeter Monaco. So that link kind of has like a flip over, doesn't necessarily hang straight with this hoodie. You see if it can, if it fixes it, if it's in side. I think with a t-shirt, it would probably lay out a little bit better because obviously the hoodie is so concaved in the center but you can get to see that it's a lot of presence here for not a lot of money. Now let's try the eight millimeter. Eight millimeter also has those accent stones at the end of the jump ring of the barrel. If you like that sort of look. Let's jump down to the five millimeter. And for those not looking for a chain, looking for a bracelet option, they do have the bracelet option in varying sizes. This one is the smaller one at six millimeters and eight inches, and it's merely like 10 grams. Now I'd be interested to see how complicated it is to do this barrel lock on a bracelet. So I'm assuming I'm gonna have to hold the pins open. 
Maybe flip it over this way and let it drop in. Oh, just line up the point with the barrel hole and push in, it'll do a double clip. Wrist profile. Now let's do a wrist profile comparison between the Monaco and the solid. And let's do the same with Monaco and Heavy Link neck profile. Now, what do you guys think? With gold prices surging, are these Monaco semi hollow actual gold pieces a viable option for you guys? If so, buy them jewelry once again. Left a promo code in the description for you guys to go and purchase on their website and share your thoughts. Are you interested in the Monaco version of this box link as opposed to the solid version, as they have a lot of that same visual similarity? Or you rather just go for the solid route, which obviously they offer as well? Promo code, links, and everything will be in the description. Let me know what you guys think. I love y'all, mother suckers from the heart. Once again, thanks to Buy Am Jewelry for showing me these examples. And let's see if we can get some other Monaco brand pieces. I'll see you snitches next time. You know who it is, biggest in the game. Smooches. Who's best? One of them's gonna pass the test. Who buy? For the fly gun holder, money folder, roller, roller, star tag when it's time to call back. For the rough, rugged, and raw way, this nigga gay, it's a game, but he don't play. Hey. For all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse suite on top of my mom's crib. Hey. It's long since you never get in. It's long since you would think that you would.